Using anchors on your page will allow you to click a link that will then guide the user to a specific part of your web page. For example, we could set up a contact form in the footer of the page and create an anchor in the header that will jump to that specific section. In this video, I will show you how to add anchor links in WordPress using Seedprod by using the very simple anchor block built into the Seedprod page builder. Everyone here at Seedprod loves having you part of the community, so please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future videos. So the first thing you want to do is come over to your WordPress dashboard and we're going to actually install seed prod first if you already have seed prod installed please use the timestamps in the description below to jump ahead in the video let's head over to seedprod.com or you can click the link in the description below and we want to grab a copy of seed prod so you can click the orange button here and select the account that makes the most sense for your situation after you have an account with seed prod we're going to go ahead and click on login and on the left hand side let's enter your email address and your password for your account and click on login after you've logged into your account you'll see the tabs at the top we want to go to downloads and let's click the big orange button here to download the plugin and on the bottom left hand side we'll see the license key let's go ahead and copy this and we can close this window back in our wordpress dashboard on the left hand side let's go to plugins and add new and up top here let's click on upload plugin you'll see a choose file you can click on this and select the zip file that we just downloaded for the plugin or if you're using the same browser or similar you can click on this and drag it and drop it on here Next, let's go ahead and click on install now and click on activate plugin here. Let's paste that license key in and click on verify key. If everything was successful, you should see a green success message here in the top right corner. If you're using the same browser or similar as I am, let's go ahead and click on the X here to close that tab at the bottom. There you go. Seedprod is installed nice and quick and easy. Let's go ahead and create a new landing page. So under Seedprod on the left hand side in the menu, Go ahead and click on pages and we have different modes here in Seedprod, but we want to create a landing page here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and create a new landing page and Seedprod is going to ask you to choose a new page template and it comes with over 100 professionally designed and mobile friendly pages here to import into your new design. So here I'm just going to pick a random one. Let's go with this one here and I'll just click on the orange check mark and then we need to give it a page name. I'm just going to call mine anchors for this demonstration and let's go ahead and click on save and start editing the page. And there you go on the right hand side we can see the seed prod page builder. This has imported the template and you can see all of the blocks and the full page design here that we now have full control over to add and edit. On the left hand side we can see our blocks. We have the standard blocks and our advanced blocks and we can easily drag and drop any of these blocks onto our page now. So for for example, if we want to add a video in our header, we can just drop that block right into here. That's quite large, probably wouldn't want one that big, but we can modify that if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and delete this block and let's start setting up our anchors. So as we come down the page, you can see that we have different sections. So here's a register section. Here's our speakers and here we can subscribe. Let's go ahead and create some anchors here for these different sections. Maybe we can put a little menu here and when you click on the links, it'll drop down to these different sections. So Seedprod makes this extremely easy to get back to your blocks here in the top left. You can click the blocks icon here. So let's go ahead and search for the anchor block here. And we can find that under advanced. Now we can just take this and drop this into the section that we want to link to. So let's drop the anchor right here. I'm going to click on the block settings and the anchor block is very simple. We just need to give it a name. So since this is the register section here, I'm just going to call this one register and that's it. We've set that up. We still have to link to it, but we'll do that in a moment. Let's go ahead and add another anchor here for the speakers. So I'll click here. We have the anchor. I'll drop that right here. Click the block settings and call this speakers and one more here for the bottom to subscribe so let's go ahead and grab that anchor again and we'll put this right here modify it and call this subscribe great now we just need to link to these anchors so let's go ahead up to the top of the page and we have a menu here on the top right so let's edit the block settings for this block and on the left hand side you can see that it says contact us let's go ahead and add a new item here we can just drag this to the top and click this and there we have the text so this is the name of that item and for the first one this is the anchor for register so we can go ahead and call this register and then the url link so to link to this specific anchor the first thing we do is type in a hashtag and then the name so register and that's it let's go ahead and do the same thing we can duplicate this one modify this let's come down this one was called speakers call this one speakers and make sure that it's hashtag speakers and then we have one more here at the bottom for subscribe so let's go ahead and duplicate this open it up Call this subscribe and subscribe again make sure you have the hashtag all right let's go ahead and save our page and let's publish this to see it live here we see the links at the top and you'll see that the anchors are invisible 
This just adds a little piece of HTML in our code. Up top, let's go ahead and click on subscribe and that should take us to the very bottom. Let's come back up top, click on speakers. It'll take us to the speaker section. Now these two are very close to each other, so it looks like it's coming to the same section, but it's not. And here we have register. And that'll bring us to the register section. And there you go. That's how you add anchor links in WordPress by using SeedProd. Now that you know how to add anchor links in WordPress using SeedProd, check out this video on how to build a landing page in WordPress from scratch, which will walk you through the process in SeedProd step by step. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.